This is a screen recording by 1010 detailing how we have managed to automate Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint using Ranarex. Um, for this uh, demonstration, we have recorded two test scripts. Uh, one was a test script written against Microsoft Word and another one was one written against Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, just to quickly run through the scripts. The first step we do in, in both tests is to open the relevant applications. So if I run through Word first, we open up Microsoft Word. Then what we do is we create a new document using the 1010 template. Uh, and then once that document has been created, we will go in there and validate uh, that the 1010 footer is in the document and indeed that it is correct. Uh, following this we will actually save the document to the hard disk and what we will actually do then to demonstrate we can interact with Windows Explorer is to open up Windows Explorer and validate that the file does exist where we saved it um, and indeed we'll do some sorting by date modified descending so that we can see that it is the most recent document in there. Uh, the final step will be to close Windows Explorer, um, so we will be left on the Microsoft Word screen. Very similarly in PowerPoint, uh, we open up PowerPoint and then we create a blank presentation. Uh, the next couple of steps are validation steps. So we wanted to look at verifying that, for example, all of the tabs are displayed in PowerPoint. These are the ribbons that you see at the top of Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, and indeed, the next step there is to validate that the home uh, ribbon is selected. Uh, then we carry on to actually edit the document. So we change the layout settings in PowerPoint to be title only for this particular slide. Uh, we then actually edit the title of the slide. We add an image and similarly to Word we save that document to the hard drive and ultimately validate that it exists. Um, all of these test steps here are actually written as modules so they can be used across tests um, and indeed, you can see that, for example, Launch Windows Explorer is present in both the Word test and also the, the PowerPoint test. So we only had to write this module once uh, and we could reuse it in both uh, test cases. Um, similarly, the other um, interactions with Windows Explorer are also modules and so they were only written run once and then reused. Um, finishing the script off, we then close Windows Explorer to leave us back in the PowerPoint screen. And at the end here, we do an image comparison. Uh, this will actually fail uh, when we come to run the test script. It's a deliberate failure. Um, I have uh, forced it to fail so that we can take a look at what the uh, errors in RunRex look like and what kind of a test log looks like. So RunRex itself is actually a very friendly tool for both technical and non-technical users. Um, it gives the capability of writing scripts um, as kind of keyword in a, in a kind of keyword driven way. So it will, for example, in, in this save as uh, module, say click on the file tab button here. And actually over on the right here, you get a screenshot of what it clicked um, when you do the recording. Uh, I'll touch on that in just a minute. Um, similarly down here you can do other clicks, uh, get values, there's various actions that you can do um, down here such as insert text, you can do some validations, um, if this was running on a, a mobile device you could do touch and swipe gestures. Um, and then further to this you can actually execute some user code within RunnerX. So when I was saving my documents, I wanted to append a timestamp to the documents as I did not want uh, to get in a situation where I had to overwrite documents or anything like that. So what we can actually do there is write some user code. So this is actually getting a bit more technical and RanRex allows us to write code in both C Sharp and VB.net. Um, so actually down here you can see that this is a, a method for enter, enter file name. And what it will actually do is generate date and time in a year, year, month, month, etc. format. Um, and it will put that text into the save dialog. Um, similarly, actually, all of these modules can be written as code. Um, so if we view the code, for instance, for this module, uh, there's actually very little in it. Um, but what you can do is convert the, convert the recording into a code module. Um, and then you have kind of full control and the full power of C-sharp behind you in case you need to do complex uh, interactions 
with the application or, or some kind of calculation or other that RANREX doesn't provide in the UI. So in general, RANREX is very powerful. It can be used to write very simple scripts by non-technical users. Um, as I touched on earlier, there is a point and click record functionality. So that is via this record button. Um, and effectively, you can click that and you can click through your application. So I can open up Windows Explorer here and I could navigate to various different areas here. And we can stop that. And I was actually amending existing scripts, so I can delete that. So taking this forward, we can actually, uh, what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll run these scripts to show you them running. Um, I promise that my hands are nowhere near the mouse or keyboard when I'm running this. Um, and in fact, in the bottom right of the screen, you will actually see a RANREX uh, running window that will detail what is happening at each stage. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click run, and I might talk through um, as various uh, actions happen. So initially, RANREX launches because we're using the evaluation version. We get this pop-up, uh, so it's not quite fully automated in the evaluation version. But rest assured, when you uh, have a license for RANREX, this would not be displayed. So we run the word test first, and what it's doing here is selecting the 1010 word template. It's already gone to the second page and validated the footer. It's now putting a file name in there. The text input is actually quite slow here, uh, but that can be sped up. Uh, we are now validating this in Windows Explorer, and we can see that the document was there and it was comparing it. And now we've moved on to our second script, which is PowerPoint, and we're already going in to add a title to this document. And we're going to insert an image. And then we're going to save the document. And this is actually where I've added the timestamp functionality. And again, similar to the uh, Word script, we are going to check that that document does indeed exist and was created correctly, which it has. And then the test script has finished. So immediately after a test script is finished, this is the screen that will be displayed to you. Um, as we can see here, the Word test script passed. It's got a nice big green tick next to it. If you wanted to, you could come in here, here and see exactly what the script did. Um, and there's all sorts of timings as to how long things took um, and various different information in here going down to um, kind of low level of what actually happened. So you can say where it clicked and where it clicked. Um, the more interesting case down here is the PowerPoint test. So we'll see that everything passed in here, except when we get down to the compare image. Um, now, what I actually did was I selected an image from the disk um, that was deliberately incorrect. Uh, so what I did is I, I selected and put into the document the image at the bottom here. But actually what I was expecting was the nice 1010 logo, logo here to be displayed. Uh, so we actually used RANREX's um, image-based comparison capability to check that uh, that was correct. So this was not done based on file name um, or any other properties. It was a image to image match and it identified that this image that it found in the document was indeed different to this one and therefore failed the test script. Um, that is an introduction to RANREX. Um, it's by nature a very modular application. Um, so actually in this rx rep file, which is RANREX's repository, uh, we can see where RANREX itself stores objects. Um, so for example, we can take a look in the word menu here and we have an element here called the personal tab. So this is when we were going in to select um, our 1010 template. We first had to click the personal tab and then we had to select the template. Uh, and indeed down here you can see where it selected the 1010 template. So once these elements are added to the repository, they are reusable across all test scripts. Uh, I believe that is everything that we might want to cover. Um, I'm sure there might be questions that come up from this, uh, but indeed I'm sure they can be answered uh, as and when necessary. Uh, thank you very much.